Representatives of two troubled medical services plants, and these are, are places in Smyrna and Covington that have been under fire, met with Governor Kemp today. The Sterengenics and BD plants emit a cancer-causing toxin, and it has caused an uproar. Doug Richards at the state capitol has the very latest. This was a private meeting here at the governor's office that started at around 3 o'clock this afternoon. We saw representatives of the two companies enter the governor's office. They declined our request for an interview as they entered to meet with Governor Kemp and some of his senior staff, and they apparently exited from a door outside of our eye shot. The Serogenics plant is in Smyrna. Regulators say its emissions of ethylene oxide are safe as far as government regulations go. Same thing about the BD plant in Covington. But WebMD has reported that incidents of cancer in communities surrounding the two plants have spiked. Ethylene oxide is used to clean medical instruments, and state regulators say operators of the Smyrna plant have agreed to scrub the air at the plant with what they call negative vacuum pressure, which regulators say will bring down the level of ethylene oxide. If you're pulling air from the building and bringing it to scrubber, that doesn't leave the trace amounts of pollutants inside the building, and that can only help the workers as well. Regulators say the Sterogenics plant has agreed to do that within the next 24 weeks or by early next year. Some residents say they want the plant closed, but regulators say if the state tried to do that, it would not hold up in court. Community members in Newton County are now gathering to learn more about the chemicals being released in the air. We have a crew in Covington. We will have reaction tonight on Uplate at 11.